Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman, a.k.a. the Football History Dude. And before we get into this episode brought to you by the Sports History Network, I wanted to tell you about another book giveaway that we have on the website. Our friend of the network, Timothy J. Brown, is giving away five copies of his latest book. This book is titled Hut Hut Hike, A History of Football Terminology. This book explores the history of football terminology by examining when and why more than 400 familiar words and expressions entered the game. By linking the game's evolution to changes in its language, readers learn the origins of first string, basic fundamentals, X's and O's, long snapper, and hundreds more of terms used in every football conversation or broadcast. Organized in easy-to-read, bite-sized chunks and filled with period images and illustrations, Hut Hut Hike tells football's history one word at a time. Now, to sign up for a chance to win your copy of the book, head to sportshistorynetwork.com forward slash giveaways. Again, that's sportshistorynetwork.com forward slash giveaways. Now it's time to take a sports break. A look at sports history on a daily basis. Hello, my friends of sports history. This is Darren Hayes of the Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. Welcome once again to the Pig Pen, your place for all things great in sports history and your uniform numbers of some of the greatest athletes that had some milestone events on the date of January 11th. It's your sports break for January 11th, and we're sure glad you're here. And before we get to those uniform numbers of the great uh, athletes that had those great performances on January 11th, let's talk about how you can join our newsletter absolutely free. You can cancel at any time. So easy to do. Go to the show notes of this very podcast and click on email newsletter and or go on to jerseydispatch.com or pigskindispatch.com to join. And it's two simple questions and you'll be getting an email each and every day about 6.30 a.m. Eastern telling you everything that's going on in the pig pen. So that's some a lot of great football news, a lot of great sports news in uniform numbers, as well as Orville Mulligan Sports Writer, our audio drama that we do with uh, Number 80 Productions, and the Sports History Network, many in- pieces of information coming from that great site as well. So let's uh, get to those uniform numbers now for January 11th. We're going to talk about numbers 16, 81, 13, 37, 10, 7, 68, 5, and number 84. We're going to start off in 1959 on the 11th of January, and it was the ninth National Football League Pro Bowl game played at L.A.'s Memorial Coliseum. The Eastern Conference defeated the Western Conference 28-21 in an exciting game, and the most valuable players, there were two. On offense, it was New York Giants halfback number 16, Frank Gifford, and on the other side of the ball, there was another great athlete, Chicago Bears defensive end, number 81, Doug Atkins. On January 11, 1963, Wilt Chamberlain in his legendary lucky number 13 uni scored a remarkable 67 points for the San Francisco Warriors and a 116-124 loss to the Los Angeles Lakers. On January 11, 1966, the 16th NBA All-Star Game took place at Cincinnati Gardens in Cincinnati, Ohio. It was the East defeating the West 137-94 in a blowout. Most valuable player of that was a hometown boy, Cincinnati Royals point guard number 10, Adrian Smith. January 11, 1970, Len Dawson, the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, sported his number 16 jersey as he not only led the Chiefs to victory in Super Bowl IV over the Minnesota Vikings 27-3, but he also won the game's Most Valuable Player Award. January 11, 1983, Marcel Dion, also wearing number 16 on his jersey, posted his 24th career hat-trick as the Los Angeles Kings skated past the Washington Capitals 9-7 to break a streak of eight straight road game losses for the Kings. On January 11, 1983, the Edmonton Oilers number 16, Pat Hughes, set an NHL record for the fastest two shorthanded goals by one player at just 25 seconds apart in a 7-5 victory over the St. Louis Blues. He's the first player to break a Wayne Gretzky record. January 11, 1987, at the American Football Conference Championship in Cleveland Stadium, the Denver Broncos beat the Cleveland Browns 23-20 in overtime, thanks to one number seven of the Broncos, quarterback John Elway. January 11, 1990, the New York Islanders number 16, Pat LaFontaine, set a team record of scoring in 11 straight games for the Islanders. 
In 2003, on a January 11th, the Washington Capitals right wing number 68, Yarmir Yager, scores his 10th hat trick of his career and adds four assists for seven points in the game and his 1200th NHL point in a 12 2 win against the Florida Panthers. Yager's had 20 plus goals in each of his 13 NHL seasons. January 11, 2004, speaking of the Capitals, veteran goaltender Olaf Kolzig, wearing his number 37 sweater, records his 32nd National Hockey League career shutout in a 1-0 win against the visiting Edmonton Oilers. Also that same day, 2004, the 11th of January, it was the 4th and 26th call, trailing the Green Bay Packers by three in the NFC Divisional Playoff game. Philadelphia Eagles faced a 4th and 26th on their final drive. Number five, Donovan McNabb found an open receiver, number 84, Freddie Mitchell, for a 29-yard gain to extend the drive. Number was 4th and 26th, so they go three yards past the line to gain, and the Eagles go down and tie the game and go on to win in overtime. January 6, 2016 is our last stop on the timeline, and it's the FIFA Ballon d'Or. Barcelona forward number 10, Lionel Messi. We've talked about him quite a bit, but well, he won his record fifth award with 41.3% of the votes. American midfielder number 10, Carly Lloyd, is the Women's World Player of the Year. And that's your sports history for January 11th. Some great uniform numbers, some great athletes, and we told you with some remarkable milestone moments in sports history for this January 11th. And your sports break is presented to you by jerseydispatch.com. We hope you will join us on our website. Join us each and every day here for the podcast. You can also visit our other website, pigskindispatch.com, warvelmulligan.com, and our friends at the sportshistorynetwork.com. So till tomorrow, everybody, have a great sports history day. This penalty kill is almost over. I got to get back out on the ice. But thanks again for joining us for another great edition of Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. We'll see you tomorrow. We invite you to check out our websites, jerseydispatch.com and pigskindispatch.com. Not only see the daily sports history, but to experience the preservation of great events and people that play the games. Find us on Pigskin Dispatch. It's also on social media outlets of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel. Get all your daily sports history. Pigskin Dispatch is happy to be associated with the Sports History Network, the sports headquarters of yesteryear, found at sportshistorynetwork.com. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com. Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman, a.k.a. the Football History Dude, and I hope that you enjoyed this recent episode presented by the Sports History Network and we're able to learn some good old-fashioned sports history knowledge nuggets. I started the Sports History Network back in 2020 with the mission to help podcasters find a community of like-minded sports history nerds, as well as helping aspiring podcasters to start their own shows. We have a little bit over 30 shows on the network right now covering all sorts of sports history, but as far as I'm concerned, we're just at the toothpick in the ocean moment, you know, that can't even figure it out because there's so much more coming. We wanted to create the ultimate headquarters for sports yesteryear, starting with Podcast Network and our website, but we're going to continue to move into other mediums as well. And here's the cool part, because we want you to be part of our team. So if you're interested in starting your own podcast, or maybe being a guest on one of our shows, or who knows, maybe even writing an article for us over on the website, seriously, all you got to do is reach out to us on the contact page over at sportshistorynetwork.com. You can be as technologically savvy as a Neanderthal tapping on a stone trying to figure out this whole hieroglyphics thing back in the day. Again, it doesn't matter because even if you don't understand the whole podcast space, we have a production team that can pretty much help you out with doing everything. All you got to do, head over to sportshistorynetwork.com, head to the contact page, fill it out. That message goes right to me and I'll reach out to you as soon as I can. But for now, dude, I'm through if you're through.